it's Henri. It's time for another Friday Flying Update. One of these things does not look like the other. <laughs> That's right. There's a cub in here. Meh. Yes, last weekend I actually got out flying and I flew the UMX Timber, I flew the ME163, and I flew the Tundra, and I had a really good time. It was the first time for 2017 to go flying. In fact, uh, everything got a lot of flight time. The only carnage really was the poor ME, uh, and we'll get to that shortly. On the Tundra, I was testing out the 60 amp ESC, and I don't know if it's my A-Specs aging out, the cold, or not quite getting the calibration right on the ESC, because I really felt like I was missing that punch that I'm used to. So maybe that 40 amp ESC is, uh, you know, the sweet spot. So it shouldn't really matter, but I just, ah. And then I tried the reverse, and the reverse did nothing with the, with the skis. So I'm going to recalibrate that ESC again, and see if I can get that, if I got the torque, put the pool on the prop that I'm looking for. So if it's not there, I might flip that 40 amp back in there, because boy, I don't want to be slower than Mike and Chris in a while, right? <laughs> um, the UMX Timber did excellent. And I, uh, if you watch the video, I flew it with a 2S500 set up in the belly. Now, you're not as aerobatic or, you know, I couldn't do a loop really cleanly compared to the, uh, the smaller 230 or 240 or 250 size battery. Um, but having that option to fly a bigger pack, not having to worry about, you know, how many of those little packs do I have to buy is a really cool option. Again, that's a little UMX to a uh, balance tab cable for 2S. And I went flying. <laughs> the only negative from the weekend. Oh, look at those floats. Yeah, they got chewed up pretty bad. The snow was pretty aggressive and it ripped that guy up. So I'm going to have to go in underneath there and epoxy just the, the, the center edge, obviously, uh, or tape it or do something. Maybe some hot glue and smear it on. Um, I don't want it to be tacky, but obviously I need a little bit more durability. I still need to test those skis, uh, those aluminum skis, because Chris said in the soft snow he was sinking in. Uh, and another tip from someone was to actually drill them out and see if you can make them even lighter because they're 26 gram. But uh, so we'll see. I do want to test those out and see where they go. Um, and obviously, the ME163, this is the Tech One from um, sent to me for review by Motion RC. Um, and it flew. <laughs> now, you didn't get any video because it was a dark, gray, overcast day, and boy, this thing is a challenge to track. It is a small airplane, but it moves, and it was fun. And the only reason I broke the prop was I had a weak toss, and I just couldn't climb, and I skipped it off the deck, and I snapped the prop. That's a 5x5, five five, so I'm going to see if I can find some APC 5x5s five five and order them up. Uh, I'm wondering if a multi-rotor prop will work, or if some of the 5x6s that I have for the uh, EFX Racer uh, will work. So I have to check my stock, and if not, I'll order some, because I definitely want to get this thing in the air again. Flies off a 3S2200, which is really nice, because you think, you know, for that kind of speed, you're on a 4S, but... Man, this thing was booking, and I was working hard to keep after it. And I swear, I honestly, if I had had a camera, you would have probably just seen it and heard it, and just it would have been a blur and a little black dot in the sky. So as I get more comfortable with it, I'll be able to get in and in closer and definitely get some video of it. So again, thank you, Motion RC, for the review on this thing. This is a lot of fun. I look forward to it. I also have a wink from them, and I have the uh, uh, from. Uh, RC Moments, the uh, Nano Talon, which I've got to get out. Uh, but it was one of those things where it was the first time I'd had a chance to go flying, and I just I just wanted to fly, and it was so nice. Okay, enough of that stuff. Let's talk about the 109s. From Durafly, announced this week was the BF-109. And yes, there are two colors here. This is the Battle Britain theme with the yellow nose, the bob, and the desert camo theme. That's the one I think is the more when I like the most. Uh, and yes, Hobby Geek did said two of them. Uh, when they asked the podcast crew, uh, I had voted for that one and Chris had voted for that one and then decided we should get both of them just so we have for presence and presentation. So thank you, Hobby King. I, honestly, um, the hardest part about assembling this airplane is just taking the time to glue on the the accessories. I used foam tack, so I had to sit there and hold them. So when I, when I do the second plane, the camouflage plane, I'm gonna use CA and kicker and just get along. But uh, they go together so well. And then after that, it's just 
the decaling. Uh, you just want to take your time and you know try not to peel up any paint or anything like that when you position. So it's uh, I, I had a few little whoopses and honestly I grabbed my silver marker and I just you know added a little you know covered up the white foam and it looked pretty nice because you know even a little couple of leading edge dings and <laughs> look at this thing underneath. It is sweet the bombs and everything. Um, the, hood, this, the radiator scoops take a little bit of time to set up, and again, I was using foam tack, so you're like just holding it. There's some rear braces on the rear uh, uh, uprights, and it is literally six screws. Four in the front, two in the back, and, and you're set up, and it, it comes together really well. And they look gorgeous, so I have a lot of high hopes, actually, of how well these fly and land. I know the BF-109s were notoriously hard to land, and the tip from Steve was as soon as you get her down on the ground, pull those flaps back up and you know keep the tail pinned so she you have all the way to the back it is a 4s2200 bird but you've got a pretty big cargo area in there or belly area battery bay sorry to get everything into so i'm honestly uh, i like my park zone spitfire and my only beef with that airplane so far is it just felt underpowered comparing what i was used to flying so these might be the ticket i don't know if they would be a belly lander like if you were not to put the scoops on and you know pull the landing gear and the retracts out and go to a two-bladed prop and just you know don't put any of the wing accessories in I, i'm wondering if it would be a decent belly lander to be honest so it might actually be worthwhile picking up a secondary wing and you know do some some reinforcements like you, you would have to deal with these so you almost would want to leave the scoops on i think um just to sit keep keep your servo uh ends nice and safe and everything but i don't know i just high 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 hopes for this airplane to be honest um, i love my mark one spitfire and my hang up with flying that airplane is i like it so much that i'm worried about scarring it up um, and I got to get over those hangups and I got to fly these things and I fly them for what they're meant and go aggressive and everything. So uh, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to the camouflage one. I've watched a uh, free wing uh, uh, F5 fly around in a, in a desert camo scheme, a desert color. And it was really easy to track and I was really impressed with how that color represented. Of course, the bob with the big bright yellow nose would be really easy to track and everything you can see. So... Chris and I discussed our decals, and you can see the decal sheet here. Um, uh, and this one is for the Bob, and uh, so uh, you know we we know what colors and schemes we're we're gonna you know pick the opposite of what we uh, what he, Chris selected or I will, <laughs> and uh, and then we'll go from there. So the big thing you want to pay attention to is on Sunday we have. Steve from Hobby King. So it's going to be Sunday, 8 a.m. Eastern. That's like 12 o'clock uh, Australian time for him because he's plus 16 hours. So it's going to be like Monday morning and he'll be talking to us. Uh, but he's been really nice about the timings. So uh, he wanted to maximize the opportunity for interaction on Facebook. So tune into our Facebook channel uh, uh, for that live video stream and we'll go from there. So uh, this weekend, my goals are very simple. Slap in some uh, FR Sky radios into these guys and get them going. I don't know when I'll get to fly them. We've had some pretty crummy freezing rain and everything. So even if I could take off and land on the parking lot, right now it's just this rough surface. And it's, uh, I really, really don't want to muss these planes up. So they may wait until the first available opportunity to fly them off the uh, the, uh, the running track and get them up in the air nice and proper and get some really clean video. So till then, my name is Andre. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a fantastic weekend.